Okay, good evening everyone. Welcome to our presentation. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for, for your interest in our topic. Uh, good evening, Pam. Nice to see you too. Um, today we are going to use our microphones to participate actively in the discussion. <clears throat> you can mute yourself for now. And I will be asking you questions. I want you not just to be uh, pa passive listeners. I want you to answer the questions, to be involved, to share your experience. Uh, also, we'll be using our uh, phones today. I will ask you to <clears throat> prepare to take your phone so that we can uh, do one exercise with you together. And also, I will add you to my Skype group. So we will go to Skype for one exercise to test one <clears throat> website. And so the topic for today, hi Pam, uh, the topic for today is using online learning games. Okay, please guys mute your microphones for now. I can see the background noise that you're typing. Mm -hmm, thank you. So this is our plan, this is our agenda. <clears throat> we will discuss the advantages or maybe disadvantages of using games during your sessions or for home assignments. Um, we will discuss <clears throat> several tools and websites that help you create, play and share different types of games and activities. Uh, we will <clears throat> talk about multiple level tasks and where you can find them, uh, on what websites, how you can implement them into your practice. Uh, we will also go through the interactive uh, tools that can be useful for, for many purposes. And <clears throat> we will, of course, we will talk about games and uh, some kind of brain exercises that can just train, train your memory or just to be used for fun. How does it sound? So do you have any questions about the, the plan, the agenda? Ready to go. Hi, Pamela. Okay, great, great. Then let's move to our first slide. <clears throat> and here is a question to you. So to play or not to play? So do you use games very often? Do you think they are um, they worth trying or it's just spending your time in vain? You're welcome, your ideas. <laughs> Let's share them, guys. Um, this Yvonne, is can... okay, Eva, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Um, I think um, it depends. Uh, the age group, um, I think uh, both adults and and kids uh, actually enjoy games because it uh, sort of calms everybody down and uh, it puts everybody at ease and it's a fun way to learn and it kind of relaxes people and at the same time they get to learn uh, in a relaxed manner in a game format. So I think it's, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's an important way to learn by using games both for adults and for children. All right. Thank you, Eva. Yeah, sounds great. Um, if you look at this picture on our screens, who is the teacher? Do you have any ideas? <laughs> we have two people here. <laughs> who is actually a teacher? Good question. <laughs> it's Yvonne. I'm a teacher. Uh, <clears throat> I find that it, like, um, I agree with Eva that it depends on the group. Um, I think it's quite useful, but... Um, I've had groups that were more receptive to games and, and groups that, that were far less receptive and, in fact, far less receptive to group work. Um, you know, I had a group of, um, scientists at, uh, National Defense who, uh, who, who were, who just preferred a very traditional way of learning for the most part. Right. Okay. Thank you, Yvonne. Um, so, but still we agree that we, we should use the games sometimes, right? So to encourage our learners, just to motivate them. And that is why I ask you, where is the teacher on this picture? <laughs> because I, as a teacher, I, I, I think that sometimes it's even more important for us to motivate ourselves 
right to use some interactive and interesting activities and games so that we can stay um so that, that we can be interested to our learners as well okay uh let's move forward <clears throat> and uh, here you can see uh albert einstein's um quote uh, and he says that play is the highest form of research. So, it, and he doesn't mention if it's about children or adults. So, if we if we use games, we research and we find we learn, right? We find some new stuff. And the first site, the first tool that I'm going to talk today about is called Kahoot. It's an interactive platform where you can uh, not only <coughs> use the materials, the existing games, but you can create your personal uh, materials. And before I will uh, transfer you to Skype, I will share with you uh, a very short video on YouTube. Uh, you can see the link on the screen. If it's active, you can just click uh, th this link, or I will also give it to you in the chat box. And I will give you a couple of minutes to follow the link and to, to watch what Kahoot is, how you can use it. So please let me know when you're back, just here in the chat box. Okay, great. So actually that video didn't demonstrate um, everything at all. And that is why I will ask you to join me in Skype in a minute. So I, I, I think I added everyone to our group. <clears throat> so please check if you, if you can see my group in Skype. Um, and <clears throat> we will try uh, to play one of the one of the quizzes one of the games together unfortunately i couldn't synchronize uh today uh <coughs> sorry i couldn't syn synchronize uh today the quiz through my laptop and the, the the phone because i cannot share my big blue button screen so we tested it with the one before the session <coughs> and but still we will be able to play it as a group um and once you are once you are signed up to this website, you can create not only quizzes, you can also create discussion surveys and so-called chambles. Um, so, are you ready for a, for a Skype call? Are you guys in Skype? Okay. Uh, do you 
have your phones with you. So before I will call you in Skype, I will give you a couple of instructions. <clears throat> so please, on your telephone, um, or maybe you have two other devices like your uh, iPod or something, um, open the website, which is called kahoot.it. Kahoot.it. And on your screen, you will see <clears throat> Uh, the PIN code that you need to enter. So please let me know when, when you can open this uh, site on your on your phone. Does it have to be on the phone or can it be on the laptop? Sorry, can you repeat? Does it have to be on a phone or can it be on an iPod or a <coughs> laptop? So uh, if you have your laptop in front of you, we will use it for Skype. Mm -hmm. okay. If you have okay. if you have another device like somewhere okay. close, you use okay. it for the uh, sure. questions. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Pam. If you have if you may have your problem with Skype, I will just give you a link and you will try to test it uh, the, to test this, the website yourself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Okay, are you ready, guys, with your phones? Can you he can you see the Kahoot on, on your phones? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, great. Can. Okay, now then I will relocate you to Skype. So let's, I, I'm calling you in Skype. <laughs> Hi. <coughs> Hi. Uh, you, you, you... No, 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 no. I just like <laughs> say hi. Um, no, you may turn off your cameras. I'm, I'm very happy to see you, of course. Okay. Uh, you can try close the big blue button. Mm -hmm. And then we will just go back. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Now I will try to share my screen with you. Yeah, the sound is not good because we are using two, uh, to, like, to, to, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can try to mute yourself, guys, then. Just mute your microphones. <clears throat> okay. Can you see my screen? Yes? Okay, great. <clears throat> okay. So what we are going to do, I will open... Um, the quiz, you will get the PIN code, you will enter this PIN code on uh, into your phone. You will also enter like some kind of a nickname. Uh, and we will try to see if everyone will log in into my website with your PIN code. So basically, as a teacher, I can <clears throat> use a whiteboard to demonstrate this exercise in a classroom and if the learners have their devices with them they just use your pin code and then they participate in the quiz all together <clears throat> they answer the questions at the same time and you can see their names on this on the screen and they you you will see the results who who answered correctly or not okay just a second On this website, you can create your personal quizzes. You can use any topics you want, like any text. You can use videos and audio <coughs> files. So 
So, and also, as you can see, you can use player versus player or team versus team. So if it's in the classroom where you have many learners, several people, right? You can even uh, create two teams. For now, I will use just player versus player. <clears throat> Okay, now you can see the number on the screen. It's three seven six four three zero. So let's put it into your pin code, into your game pin on your telephone. Three seven six four three zero. <clears throat> Can you see my screen, Mark? You will need my screen anyways for the question. Uh huh. Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I see. I. All right. Great. I can see. Uh, Louise, Twi, Yvonne, uh, Mark, Eva. I don't know who is SS and Mois. <laughs> we have two nicknames. <laughs> All right. Well, actually, if if you are in a in a classroom with with children with kids, uh, it's maybe even better to use nicknames so that if someone doesn't have as many correct answers, you know, no one will laugh in the end. And they also recommend not to use naughty nicknames on the website. You they have even like a reminder so that the kids use proper <laughs> nicknames. Okay, now you can uh, click OK Go on your phone once you're ready and I will start the quiz. Uh, once I start, you will see four possible answers on your phone. But at the same time, you need to look for the question on, on my screen. You need to read the question on um, on my screen in Skype. And then you pick the correct answer and click on your device on your phone. Okay, let's try. <coughs> Mark, can you see the screen now? Or no? Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the first question: A little nonsense now and then is cherished by the. And then, well, you know what, Mark? I won't read you all the questions because we have very li limited. Yeah. Yeah, we just have two two seconds left. <laughs> okay. Now it generates the answers. And I see that Yvonne, <laughs> Yvonne gave us the correct answer here, right? And all the other users. So we don't have everyone, by the way. Not everyone is playing. All right. So the second question. <clears throat> uh, no, <laughs> I don't have. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I do have, I actually do have the number. It's 373740. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, now we see the next question, number three. A person who has good thoughts, and then we have again four variants. <clears throat> I don't know why I always see the correct answer of a one and, and all the zeros. Do you guys have incorrect answers on your phones? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's try like maybe the last question to see if there is like any other correct answer.
Mm. Here we can see an interactive picture. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay. Now it we has the correct answer here. So this is the whole idea, right? So how it works. So you can even work uh, on a distance. So you don't need to be like even in the classroom all together. Um, and I will try to uh, show you another another video. Just I hold on a second. <clears throat> okay, by some reason I lost, I, I think I have it here. this exercise you will uh, first you will watch a video it's maybe like three four minutes video uh, you can upload a YouTube video or any any sort of video from your computer and then you you can use it as a listening task with your learners and have the same kind of quiz after, after listening the, the exercise Loading very slowly. <clears throat> okay, I have another idea. So it's I, by some reason it's loading really slowly. Okay, um, so now let's go back to our big blue button and we will discuss this tool a little bit. <coughs> okay, can you hear me? Are you here? Okay. 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 Great. Are you back? <laughs> um, what I will try, I will try to give you the link once again here so that you can just open it on your computer. We are not going to play the quiz again. You will just see what kind of video you can um, upload into this uh, website. So just please follow this link. Uh, you will be able to open the, the page and see how they present the video story about the same <clears throat> writer. And let me know when you're back, okay?
here. Could you open the website? Please let me know in the chat box if you could see the video. Okay, great. So who wants to analyze the, this, this type of exercise, this type of, we can call it a game, right? Um, what kind of exercises we can use, use it for? What kind of activities? Like, as I said, we can uh, listen to, this, to, the, to the text and then go through the questions. So who wants to pick a microphone? Right, Eva, listening exercises. Can you just comment a little bit more? You're welcome to take the microphone. <laughs> no more ideas? Um, hi, Tatiana. Yeah, I was thinking we could use these for listening exercises and even. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear Eva was talking, I think, right? Okay. Um, yeah, so definitely listening exercise is a good, um, it's a good one for such a game like this. But I think also uh, fluency um, <laughs> as, uh, as well, I think you can use that opportunity to pause the game and ask the students uh, what it is that they've heard or what it is that they've, uh, to summarize what it is that this story is telling them? So the thing here is that you have to watch the video from the beginning up to the end, right? And then you have a quiz after the, after that. Mm -hmm. But in, uh, you can, like, if you have a story, you, you can try and uh, divide the story into, like, segments, right? Into several parts. And then you hear the first part, Maybe of a dialogue, and then you have some questions: What is going to follow? What is what is? How will the story finish? Like what they are going to talk next, right? Like this. Then then you can create separate questions, like separate short quizzes. Okay. Any other ideas? Tatiana, um, did you want to re just repeat the question once more for my benefit? Because. I was being. I was of course, yeah, of course. We we are just trying to analyze now what kind of what, what kind of skills can we uh, teach? What what kind of activities we can create using this particular website? Mm -hmm. So I think. Um, yeah, definitely uh, listening comprehension, but um, you could also get um, some speaking practice, get uh, get the uh, learners, uh, ask them some questions, um, start a discussion based on the content of the, uh, of the video. Um, maybe even have them write uh, a short paragraph, you know, you can make it practice the writing skills. Really, you could practice mm -hmm. um, yeah, those three skills anyway. Okay, thank you, Juan. <clears throat> or maybe you can just try to use a pic, like some picture. You you upload a picture, and then you uh, just want them to describe the person, like the appearance of the person. And you have four different descriptions, right? Short descriptions of the person. So it's up to your imagination. Okay, thank you. And now let's move forward. <clears throat> the next website I can recommend you today is called Breaking News English. It's a very, uh, inter very nice um, tool. <clears throat> you have uh, hundreds, like even it says more than 2,000 uh, language lessons, English language lessons in seven levels. <clears throat> and they also have interactive games on, on this website. Uh, I will just demonstrate you one game here, I think, yeah. So this game is called No Spaces. First you listen to, to the task and then you you can see the same text, right? You can, you can listen to the text uh, several times maybe with the learners so that they, they can almost learn it by heart and then you um, use this activity, No Spaces activity it is called. Uh, there is another type of activity uh, they use on this website. Uh, it's called 
um, jump just a second it's called text jumble <clears throat> when you uh, when you have to uh, whether put the, the parts together or to, to make one text or you you have the text which is um, coded you just have to uncode it you have to guess what the word comes next uh, so I really recommend you this website <clears throat> if you want if you need the some games and exercises like interactive exercises for a lower level learners then uh, the, this the, the previous website is co to the, is connected to this one which is called uh, listen a minute and uh, on this website you can also find all sorts of interactive ga games and also tons of uh, word and PDF format so that you can just print great lesson plans so I really recommend you this one <clears throat> and now what I want to discuss more with you today um, is this particular website it's uh, National Geographic's uh, game which is based on uh, on a TV show which is called Saints and Strangers um, National Geographic has awesome awesome videos awesome shows and now they have uh, interact like they call them um, uh, quests have you ever tried such games yourself do you know how to play this sort of game no I've never tried this but this looks interesting <laughs> okay so uh, uh, yeah, if if you play like if you go deep into the into the game, yeah, it can take tons of your time and mm -hmm. it it won't be useful, right? But if we think about it from educational educational point point of view, we, uh, with this particular game, we can find ton tons of materials. So this game is based on um, uh, indigenous, like on on Aboriginal history and. I, I'm not sure if it's tr true story or not, but still, lots of um, historical facts, lots of um, language that is connected with history and with uh, settlements and like the, the war, the <clears throat> the Aboriginal culture. So you can find uh, in this quest. So what we can do here, you, we can first recommend our learners to watch the show or some episodes um, or maybe you will ju even just up upload a part of a film describe like you, you will watch about the, the hero the main heroes or about how they fight about their rules how the tribes meet together whatever and then you go to this quest I will give you a link so that you can just open it and just quickly look at the website how it looks like the graphic is very nice and um, <clears throat> no you don't need to subscribe no you just go online just uh, one second I will open um, I will open for you the link <clears throat> you don't need any subscriptions And you don't need to play the whole game. You can just uh, start start the game, discuss again some main heroes, the main characters. You can go through the <clears throat> they call it so um, they call it how um, to create your colony. Um, and uh, what, what is interesting in this type of activities? So just go for forward. So this is kind of the one of the tasks. So basically, it's more about reading. You, re you read about some kind of um, problem that, the, that the, the main heroes have and you have to solve the problem, you have to make a decision and then they will add some points according if you, if you make the right decision or they will take some points from you. And <clears throat> in this colony you have uh, several kinds of um, quests like mm, diplomatic quest, settlement quest, like well-being and something else and you just read the task and then you can discuss it maybe in a group what what is the best solution if you 
or even one on one with your learner, you you uh, you may ask for uh, to explain what are the reasons why you why you why you choose this this kind of decision why you make this decision or that and <clears throat> also <coughs> on this website you can find the characteristics of all the main heroes and it's great for reading it's great for reading and for um, um, again learning learning the the history some fa facts historic facts and uh, the language the language of um, some specific some specific words connected with history uh, can you use a small part? Yes, you can just use a small part. You can just go through one little quest, right? You can just go or... <clears throat> okay, so let's try to look at how it looks. I forgot to give you a link here. So please open open the game. It may take you a couple of minutes to download the page, but if, if your internet is fast, it should be fine. <clears throat> And historically, it goes back to 1600s. I I didn't watch this um, show myself, but it looks like it's it's very interesting. open the website if you go to National Geographic website or just to the channel right you can uh, find the trailer you can you, you will see how, what the show is about <clears throat> well of course it's not for everyone um, I would say it's a kind of a mature <laughs> topic not everyone is interested in in such uh, films but still uh, also you can just google and try to find other t types of quests that can be uh, interested to your learners maybe something about um, like you know Lord of the Rings with lots of um, fantastic heroes that just can keep your attention right definitely not for, for lower levels <clears throat> but still when when we speak about maybe the you know appearance of the person or um, some something some if you just pick some maybe uh, phrases from from the text you can present it to and encourage your lower level learners to improve the language so that they can play something like that okay so I I don't actually have any questions for you here, but as for the next <coughs> website, I will have some questions to you. Thank you, Louise. Um, this website is, is a real girl. <laughs> it's it's an, an, a very nice website. So it's called Radio Garden. Uh, by the way, guys, if you click on the link on the, on the screen, does it let you open the link or, or I need to paste it into the chat box can you follow this link on the screen right now okay I will give you another one then <coughs> mm -hmm. so please open this link now So this website is an interactive radio station. All right, great. And once you rotate the globe, you can zoom in, zoom out, and you can access hundreds of uh, radio sta stations from across the world, from around the world. I was even using to open some, you know, Russian Russian stations from my city, from from Moscow, and <coughs> listen to. My, my language. I'll give you a, mi a minute or two just to 
to play with it, just see how it works. And then we will think how we can use it with your learners for the classroom. Okay. <coughs> okay, Yvonne, I will try to give you like a short link maybe. Is it not working during in like the, there is no sound when you open it or the page is not opening? It's it's giving me an error. Um, it's giving me a bunch of text and an error. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's weird. Interesting. You may not try, you know what, try to uh, re um, restart like uh, your page again, right? Or just go to a set new window and type radio.garden yourself just without copying the link. Yes, there will be background noise because these are radio stations and you, ne you need to wait, you know, for um, some time so that the um, <coughs> the echo disappears. No, it doesn't work for me because um, in, in maybe some security feature on my computer, that's the thing I'm guessing. Oh. That okay. you know, okay. this maybe this may be linked to security. That's that's yeah, mm -hmm. okay. that could be yeah. Um, you can try to maybe you try to open it on your telephone. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what I can ask you. Uh, for now is try to uh, find the Montreal stations and then we will just open one one station with you and try to talk about it okay great Pamela thank you mm -hmm. great great <clears throat> So what is great here? I'll just give you one uh, suggestion. So how we can use it with our learners. Well, first of all, uh, m most of these radio stations are connected with the, they have websites. And on their websites, they have list of programs, what to listen, what you can listen, what like the programs for kids, programs about, I don't know, the news, what time they start, <coughs> and so on. Plus, um, uh, the first idea that I had is you can uh, teach the different accents, like you can go to Australian radio stations, British, um, Canadian, American, right? And you can uh, introduce different English accents to your learners using the radio stations. Uh, do you have any other ideas how we can use radio programs in our classrooms? So who wants to pick the microphone? Okay, I, don't shy. I think listening, um, listening um, exercises, um, you know, because uh, in classrooms, uh, the use of audio is very is uh very useful um sometimes um song lyrics can be can be quite useful i don't know if this uh radio uh if, if any of these radio stations have also have um talk shows but um certainly uh conversations are used uh for for um determining um listening comprehension so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i think there are a lot of uses <clears throat> okay thank you one uh, could you find the Montreal station? Could you find the, the stations on the map? Hello? Yeah? Okay, this You're is welcome. Eva. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. I still, mine still won't open, but I, I would imagine that uh, for a radio station, um, just like a news station on TV, a good exercise would be um, sort of for the students to 
um, put together the facts. Usually news, whether it's radio or TV, give you the facts. So sort of the beginning, middle and end to a story and the factual material uh, versus irrelevant material. So that could be a discussion about a particular mm-hmm. issue or, or a circumstance or situation that took place, sort of like uh, filling in the puzzle to uh, mm-hmm. storyline. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Thank you, Eva. Thank you very much. Um, I Unfortunately, I cannot, it's slowed in very slowly for me. I cannot open the Montreal web stations, but if you have a chance after the webinar, you can always try find uh, the stations. And <clears throat> one of them, it's a radio station uh, of the um, McGill University in Montreal, and they have uh, Arabic lessons on these radio stations. Uh, they teach Arabic uh, Arabic language, and <clears throat> you can access uh, their website. You can find uh, all sorts of information about their activities on the website, plus listen, listen to these lessons online. So, again, if you um, just pick some maybe famous radio stations and their websites, you can create some activities uh, connecting, you know, reading and listening to the radio. Okay. Cool. All together. <clears throat> and you can travel, like, very quickly around the world here as well. <laughs> All right. So then um, the last type of exercises I recommend you today um, so Louis says it would be great for conversation topics that interest the student, right? Thank you very much. Um, and the last type of exercises <laughs> we can recommend you today, they are called, they are called brain games. Uh, we call them brain teasers, and you can also use optical illusions just to engage, like ice break, breaking activities, or just to, to engage learners into the conversation or to motivate them and now I need va- one volunteer from our group right now <laughs> I want to demonstrate you one type of this brain teasers or brain brain game so who wants to be my <coughs> my student I'm game okay is Eva? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, you will. You will uh, read. You will have the slide. The next slide will tell you what to do. Okay. You will. You will need to read the task very quickly and start doing the task as as quickly as possible. <coughs> Don't think too much. Just try to, to do it quickly. <laughs> Okay. So should I open up brain t- uh, games on my phone as well, or just on Skype? No, 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 no. I will just open the next next slide for you. Okay. And you will be able to read uh, from your screen. Okay, ready? Let's start. Should I read it loud? Yeah, please. Okay. Uh, say the color, not the word. Oh boy. Uh, yellow. <laughs> not the word. Uh, okay, green, red, blue, yellow, white. Red, uh, blue, green, orange, I think, yellow, white, red. Oh, this is good. (laughs) (laughs) Blue, blue, yellow, blue, uh, (laughs) okay. Yeah, wow. okay, thank okay. you, Eva. <laughs> so, and then you see that your right brain, your right yes. brain tries to say the color, but your left brain insists on revert. So this is yes. so funny and easy. <laughs> and actually, I can give you another link to the same kind of exercise, but they just... Oh, oh these are definitely them. good uh, icebreakers. <laughs> Yeah, I'll give you the same kind of exercise here in the chat box, but it has more colors and more words, so you can maybe open it in a separate window. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, th- this is funny. This is really funny. And um, if you just Google all sorts of brain teasers mm-hmm. yourself, you can sh- maybe share later with us some f- funny games like this. Yeah. And this can really motivate, you know, like a couple of funny minutes at the beginning. And everyone can go through this exercise on your own. 
right now, right? And you will have the same <laughs> awkward feeling like, like what's going on. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you. So this is what we call again brain teasers, right? Brain games or, <clears throat> you know, like even on Facebook, you have you ever seen the, some sort of game games when you when the, when you just uh, upload your picture and then you suddenly have another image of yourself like when um, they make a portrait with a pencil or they just create some funny images so you can use all sorts of games to motivate your students and the last <clears throat> quotation of Albert Einstein for you today Logic will get you from A to Z. Imagination will uh, imagination will take you everywhere. Okay. So I really recommend <laughs> I really recommend you to use yeah game, like online interactive tools. So the technologies go forward, and we we have to be used to using them right in our classrooms. Not to be boring for our learners, so that we are up to date. <clears throat> okay. Um, do you guys have any questions? Oh, we'll definitely have to take time and go through these games because uh, <laughs> a 30 minute session, of course, or an hour session is not sufficient, but they all seem quite, right. uh, they, they definitely would add value and uh, imagination and, uh, you know, fun to the classroom. We just thank have to be you. ready thank to you them that. ourselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. Really yeah, I, th- thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I didn't have time to go um, to go through the these couple of sites like these ones, but these two sites they have tons of materials. I really recommend you to start from these ones because these are actual like uh, uh, lesson plans, and you can print them out and you use them tomorrow <laughs> or mm. on Monday. Okay. Okay, thank you so much, guys, for your time. So if you need a certificate of participation, please email uh, re- your request. Email me re- your request within the next hour. <clears throat> and I will be glad to uh, forward it to you on Monday. And, of course, I always invite everyone <laughs> to our volunteer team. But today we have just our volunteers here, so... <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.